Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an operator in SQL Server and we'll be using two ways to do it. SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface and we'll be using T-SQL Script to gen uh, create an operator. In this video, we'll be looking at general settings of an operator and we'll be configuring general setting of operator. And number two, we'll be configuring notification settings. So let's go ahead and do this. In order to create an operator, you need to be connected with SQL Server instance where you want to create the operator and you need to expand SQL Server agent right here and go to operator right here. In order to create new operator using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface, you need to right click on the operator and click on new operator. First thing that you need to do is give the name of the operator. Let's say that this is a uh, operator name is DBA and email that you where you want to send uh, that would be uh, I have configured tech brothers SQL age at gmail.com so I want Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and my day starts from 8 a.m. and this is the business time weekdays week work day starts at 8 a.m. work day end at 6 p.m. if you would like to send this operate uh, send this uh, um, operator or uh, act this operator use this operator during the weekend you can select uh, Saturday and Sunday as well so we're gonna go ahead and keep in mind that um, by default when you create a new operator uh, this way it's enabled and the operator needs to be enabled for it to function right so we're gonna go ahead and click notification notification is a uh, view notification sent to this user by alerts so it's going to be alert and uh, we have already created the alert if you don't know how to create alert please watch my um, demo how to create alerts in SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, se select this is already available uh, uh, alerts if you have multiple alerts it's going to give you a chance to select the uh, right alert that you wanted to do so we're gonna go ahead and click email so what we want is that uh, send uh, this alert to the email and that the alert would you will see if you click OK and go to the properties you will see history of this this was never sent and click at notification and if you wanted to do that just particular um, this jobs you can select it now and select the job but we're gonna go ahead we haven't selected any job to use this particular operator as soon as you use the job you go to jobs and select this particular operator then it'll show up here in the um, in the uh, in, in this area so we're gonna go ahead and click OK now one important thing that I wanted to mention in this demo uh, is that you can create alerts and operators and um, everything that you would like to but however you have to create DB send email that needs to be configured your profile needs to be configured your DB send account needs to be configured in order for SQL Server to work and we have configured if you look at and go in the management right here and wanted to take a look on the DB mail that if it's configured or not you can go ahead and click on uh, configure mail and click on manage database mail account and profile so you're going to go ahead and click on this click next and you just wanted to view if everything exists up there view change delete or existing account so you're gonna go ahead and do this as you can see right here I have already configured and I'm using Gmail SMTP server so everything is already configured all I have to do is go in my SQL Server agent and tell it that any alert DBA operator everything that you wanted to use to send the alert to DBAs please use the profile that I have configured and in and to do that you right click on the SQL Server agent click on properties and go to advanced I'm sorry alert system so click on mail session enable mail profile this needs to be enabled otherwise your operator or, or alerts will not work so we're gonna go ahead and enable mail profile and up here is DB mail that we configured and up here is the profile if you select I have couple profiles I'm going to use tech brothers uh, profile it'll use uh, the SMTP server to go ahead and send that and um, operator so far I have just one operator if you if I wanted to assign an operator I'm going, going to go ahead and enable fail saver operator and uh, send an email so um, 
the pager email right here if you wanted to send the pager email but um, so far for up here we're good job system right here so once this is done we can go ahead and click OK so now uh, the agent has everything that it needs so anything happens um, now on SQL Server instance based on our uh, configuration of our alert it's going to send us the alert keep in mind that this needs to be tied the SQL Server agent needs to be tied with the DB mail in order to work and I have shown you real quick that uh, where the DB mail needs to be uh, configured if you don't know how to configure the DB mail please uh, uh, watch my video I have put out uh, a demo how to configure DB mail in SQL Server so watch that and configure the DB mail so basically this is how we create operator using SQL Server Management Studio so we're gonna go ahead and delete this and use our script and we got an error that DBA is fail safer operator you must make another operator fail safe so this is um, I'm gonna show you right here if you go up here I have this is the in case everything fails it is going to use this operator so we're gonna go ahead and disable that click OK and now if we go to operator now we can go ahead this is not a fail safer operator anymore we can go ahead and delete this operator so operator is deleted let's go ahead and open our script as you can see that uh, in this is, these are the same setting you need to give the name of the oper operator and you need to page your start time and end time this is uh, your workday end time and your workday uh, start time and workday end time and um, uh, up here is the email address that you would like to send to and uh, this is the alert it's going to use and this is the operator it's going to use so let's go ahead and execute this and refresh our operator and see if operator is completed right here operator is basically created so um, this is it basically this is how you create operator using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and T SQL script and I hope this video helps